if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again and welcome to episode number 44 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. We start with a game against Bristol City. We're on FA Cup duty today. We're playing in the semi-final at Wembley against the, uh, the championship side. So it should be, hopefully, an easier game to help us progress to the FA Cup final. Time will tell and then we follow that with a game against West Brom in the Barclays Premier League. And things are still very tight in the Barclays Premier League as well. I'll quickly show you the league table so you know what the scenario is. With five games to go, we are ooh, seven points inside the top four, which is fantastic. It would be nice, though, to finish third, not fourth, so that we can avoid the qualifying rounds for the Champions League. So there's only a two-point gap to Spurs, so we need to maintain that. And we're only a single point behind Arsenal as well. Chelsea, though, have a big seven-point gap at the top of the table. They're eight points away from us with 15 points available. So it needs a big turnaround for us to win the league here at Everton, which, to be fair, isn't necessarily that realistic. But still, if our goals and or assists can help the side win the league, then fantastic. We've only lost two games all season. So we're having a very good year here at Everton, and we've conceded less goals than anybody else in the league as well. So it's been a wonderful year as our first at this level in football. And hopefully that continues with progression through to the FA Cup final. But we'll find out now if we can get the better of Bristol City. That's a nice ball over the top, looking for Kajia. Not the best of first touches, and Jagielka wins the uh, the header, but we've given it straight out for a throw-in for some reason. Brian with a throw. Here's Smith, tackled by Delefeu, though. Gibson knocks it back to Jagielka as we deal with it at the back. They're playing five at the back, Bristol City, which I guess is expected, considering they're a championship side playing against the side that's third in the Barclays Premier League. They have tried in the opening few minutes to just keep the ball away from us, which, again, is a, clearly another tactic to just try and grind us down. We are much more less likely to uh, be able to beat them if we haven't got the ball. As you can see, we're trying to uh, get our eye in now with a few tidy little passes now that we've actually had a spell of possession ourselves. But uh, no side to this point has created a chance, but it could be uh, an interesting game if a goal goes in early on, it could perhaps bring Bristol, bring Bristol City out of their shells. So we'll try and slow it back through to Gerard Delefeu. We are immediately 1-0 up with the first chance of the game. And we have ourselves an assist as well. 13 minutes on the clock. Nice 1-2 between ourselves and Delefeu. He's been in form in real life for Everton recently. And clearly in form for us on FIFA as well. Really nice move. Turn is so the defender. They're playing five at the back, but their, uh, their wing backs are pushing forward a little bit. And he was able to cut inside. Unfortunate for the goalkeeper. It wasn't necessarily the best of well placed shots. In fact, he was straight at him, but tried to arc his arm and push it away. But unfortunately, hits his elbow, bounces down into the bottom corner, and Everton have a 1 0 lead at Wembley Stadium for the FA Cup semi final. Here's Morales. Oh, he plays it into me. Wasn't ready for that. We'll give it back to Kevin Morales on the left-hand side. He's rumoured, according to uh, the news articles, to uh, be unsettled here at Everton and wanting to leave. Why he'd want to do so when we're third in the Barclays Premier League and in the FA Cup semi-final, I'm not too sure. We'll look for Romelu Lukaku here, who's brought it down. Laid it back to Besic, who plays it into me. Shot on the left foot. Brilliant save by Frankie Fielding. I'm not sure whether it was Fielding or the defender that got on the end of that. I think it was the goalkeeper because there was a defender in the way. Yeah, it was definitely the keeper. Good save. Good solid palm up. That's what he tried to do with the first chance and wasn't able to do so. We'll see if we can get an opportunity if this knocks down to me. No, it flicked on by Jagielka. Cleared off the line by Brian. And Little's going to head it behind for another corner. That's close to 2-0 already after 20 minutes. So let's get ourselves in the mix then rather than waiting for the ball to drop on the edge of the box. It's going to be knocked back out to Gerard Delefeu. Into Morales, who slashes at it, can only get it as far as Romelu Lukaku. But that's a very tidy finish. 2-0 after 20 minutes. This is turning out to be quite a simple FA Cup semi-final for Everton Football Club. Terrible attempted first shot from Morales. I'm definitely sure that that was a shot, not a pass. And it's just whipped straight to Romelu Lukaku. Brilliant first touch to stop the ball dead. And then a simple finish. Everton 2, Bristol City 0, and it's getting away from them already. Smith, through to Pack. Could get the turn in, but he's gone backwards to Brian. The wing-backs do push forward with this five at the back that they're playing, but they haven't been able to uh, create anything really out wide so far in the game. Oh, I'm not going to bother tracking with him because I have faith in Morales and Leighton Baines on that left-hand side, and Lukaku's received it from the Belgian. 
And the Belgian, second Belgian, has given it to us. Delefeu and Besic linking up nicely. Coleman on the overlap is going to be found. And Besic is played in. Can we make it 3-0 before the half-hour mark? I've gone for a diving header and I can't get there. If Darren Gibson can win that header, we could have another chance yet before the move comes to a close. Delefeu out wide again to Seamus Coleman. Is he going to again go down the line to Besic? No, he's come inside to Delefeu this time. Will come short. He's found me. Decent first touch. There's the shot and a good save. Brian Frankie fielding. Still 2-0, despite two good opportunities there. Oh, don't forget the ball keeps. Two op good opportunities there to give ourselves a third goal. And if he goes to three, then I really think Bristol City have had it and are done and dusted here. But at 2-0, if they just get one before half-time, or maybe one before, say, the 70th minute mark, then uh, they could get themselves back into this one. But so far, no signs of any such sort of occurrence here. They haven't created a single chance to this point, Bristol City. It's been a very one-sided FA Cup semi-final. Coleman, I'll call for it. We'll just help it on its way out wide. Morales. Baines could go on the overlap and has done. Space to push forward. I am short if needs be. And Morales will use me. We'll try and get it back to him. I can't quite squeeze it through the gap, but it's... Rebounded to Leighton Baines, who again will find me. Let's give that to Delefeu. Not the best of first touches, but somehow still keeping possession, Gerard Delefeu. That was brilliant stuff. This is also very slick passing. Darren Gibson, oh, almost scores the best goal of the season. That would have been hands down the best goal we've seen in this career mode so far. We could still end up with a third and have. Not quite as impressive a shot as Darren Gibson's, but still a really good finish there from Romelu Lukaku. Celebrating down the camera lens. That's 3-0. Sorry, Bristol City, but that is game over. What a hit from Darren Gibson, by the way, off the post. That definitely deserved to go in. Brilliant move. Somehow we kept possessing through Gerard Delefeu when it looked like that dodgy first touch was going to let the entire move die. And somehow we've made it 3-0. We will take that and we're storming, storming towards an FA Cup final appearance. Here's Kujia, back to Marlon Pack. Where's he going to go? Out wide to Danny Graham. Danny Graham's got options inside, but he's gone backwards to Little. Into Pack again. We'll try and get a tackle in on Freeman, but I can't quite do so. Oh, decent attempted finish from Kujia. That was the best chance, in fact, probably the only chance that Bristol City have had to this point. And that was really well taken, actually. He tried to open up the face of his body to whip it into that far top corner. Needed a smart save from Tim Howard there. They've taken Danny Graham off and brought on Kieran Agard. So we'll see if that makes a change to their attacking play. But that's not going to help if they just keep giving the ball away from corners. Here goes De La Feu. I have no idea who that was intended for. Lukaku made a good run in front of him. I was just inside and he's just kicked it straight to the Bristol City back line. Freeman inside to Marlon Pack. Forward to Kieran Agard, who's just come on as we saw. Agard in the box. Agard fires just wide. Bristol City fans will be wanting something to, to at least cheer before they have to go home and go out of the FA Cup. Unfortunately, though, Kieran Agard wasn't able to give them at least a consolation goal. And we stay 3-0 up for now. And it looked like from the, uh, the replay there that the majority of the stadium are wearing red shirts in uh, Bristol City colours. It's not seemingly half and half, considering we're technically the away side. It seems to be, you know, the majority Bristol City fans, and then there's just one end of Everton fans, which is a bit harsh for an FA Cup semi-final, slightly unrealistic, but we could be in for a fourth here. Leandro Rodriguez has come on, he's given it across to Kevin Morales. Now, we're waiting for the ball to come, I'll call for the cross, Gibson's cross is deflected, it drops to Rodriguez and he puts it wide. If he'd have found me, I'd have guaranteed that I would have put that into the back of the net. Deflected, though, into Leandro Rodriguez, and unfortunately, his first-time effort, which was struck well, flew past the post. We stay 3-0 with eight minutes to go. Freeman, I'm chasing him down. We'll try and get a tackle in if we can. Can't quite catch him up. Here's Marlon Pack. Into Freeman again. Freeman across to Kujia. Heavy touch, but he gets there before I can close him down. Pack just keeps that on the pitch. We're in stoppage time now, so if Bristol City want to get themselves the consolation goal, now's the time to do so, but they need to get it in the box, which eventually they did do, but unfortunately for them, the referee blew his final whistle before it arrived at the feet of the striker, who was clean through, so it seems. But there we go, final whistle, quite possibly the easiest FA Cup semi-final of all time. A simple 3-0 victory for Everton against Bristol City. We're in the FA Cup final, boys. I don't know who's in the other half of the draw. Maybe it'll tell me once we advance. I'm not entirely too sure. But we've got the game against West. Brom coming up. Uh, no, it says no matches available. Okay, not sure who's in the other half of the draw, so uh, we'll find out in due course who... We oh, there we go. It will be Chelsea or Arsenal. That's going to be slightly more difficult, isn't it, than uh, Bristol City. Chelsea or Arsenal in the FA Cup final to play Everton. However, next we have West Bromwich Albion. 
Coleman with the throw back to Delafeu. Nothing created so far as West Brom has sat very defensively on the edge of their own box. Besic has the shot. It drops kindly to me. Bang. 1-0. First chance of the game. 25 minutes in. We're 1-0 up. There's been nothing created so far because West Brom have just sat nine men behind the ball and they've left Victor and each to be up on the halfway line on his own. And we only got that chance because it dropped very kindly to us after a blocked shot. But what a finish. I'm really pleased with that. High and far into that top corner. Nothing Ben Foster could do about it in goal. That was a really good finish. Pleased with that. Very chuffed to uh, give Everton the lead. That's an assist for us in the FA Cup semi-final. Followed up by a goal to our Barclays Premier League tally here against West Brom. Maybe, maybe, oh, it's our 10th goal in the Barclays Premier League this season. It's a landmark goal. Maybe that will give us the, uh, the impetus now to open them up a little bit more and maybe we can score a handful more in this game as well as we did in the first. Morales playing through. He's gone backwards. Never mind. Besic. Oh, nice ball out to Lukaku. Could be two here if we can create another opportunity. Lukaku to... Oh, Morales who flashes that over the top of the bar. He hit that very hard. Semi couldn't keep it down. If that had rifled in off the roof of the bar... Off the roof of the bar? Off the underside of the bar into the roof of the net. That would have been quite a dramatic goal. Unfortunately, though, Morales, who is reportedly unsettled at the club, uh, can't make it 2-0 after half an hour. Gibson, nice ball into me. Round the corner to Besic. Go on, Delefo, you make a run down the line. He, he tried. Oh, great first touch. Can we keep it away from the defenders? I wasn't expecting... Oh, he's done it again. He keeps... Oh, ref. Thank you. We'll have a foul there. Besic keeps passing it to me when I'm not expecting it. When I've got, like, a man right on me, he, keep, he keeps giving me the ball. 19 games, 10 goals. That's such a good record so far for us this year in the Barclays Premier League. We didn't get first team football initially, did we? And we've had to work our way into the first team. But now we have broken through. We've definitely been holding this uh, position as our own. Hello, Gerard Delafeu. That was a bit extravagant. Here goes Leighton Baines. He's going to come to me. I'm offering him support. He's gone solo. It's a block by Johnny Evans that stops us from taking a 2-0 lead. We will have a corner, though. And Baines probably will take that. No, Delafeu to take it. We're sat on the edge of the six-yard box. Let's drift out. We're on the penalty spot now. Keeper's come and punched it. Ben Foster wiped out uh, the defender in front of him and Chris Brunt will bring it away maybe an opportunity for a counter attack here but Leighton Baines uh, he does very well there actually to win a throw in off Victor and Eachby looks like we're going to be going in at half time with our 1-0 lead Lukaku. Lukaku gives it to me Besic is going to keep that run going he is but he's, oh, he's kind of run down a blind alley there we have been able to find him but that kind of slowed the move down he's worked it back to me we'll squeeze it to Lukaku get the turn in son Romelu Lukaku fires it just wide looking for another assist to go hand in hand with our goal in this game already unfortunately Romelu on the turn couldn't quite get it inside the post Morales out wide to Leighton Baines. Lukaku's on the shoulder of the final defender, but Morales has turned inside. We'll play a nice little one-two with him. There is Romelu Lukaku. Out to Leighton Baines. Myself and Lukaku in the box. Cross has come. Can we score a header? We can. It's a double for us. It's two goals here. I should probably go and celebrate with Leighton Baines, actually. Oh, as I tried to turn around, it automatically did my celebration as I walked off the pitch. I needed to go and celebrate with Leighton Baines there because that was an inch-perfect cross. Absolutely wonderful ball in. If I hadn't scored that, then that would have been really embarrassing because he could not have put it more on a plate for me. And it was, actually. Did it take a deflection? No, it was just really poor connection, actually, on the header. I almost didn't score it. From the first angle, like initially, from uh, in real time, it looked as if it was well placed in the corner. But from the replays, you could see it was actually quite near the goalkeeper. Similar to Delafoe's goal in the first game. Quite near the goalkeeper. But there we go. 11 goals in the Barclays Premier League now. We've scored two in this one. And we have a 2-0 lead. Besic is going off for Cleverly? Question mark? I'm not sure. I think it was Tom Cleverly. We'll find out in a moment. Was it Tom Cleverly? Come on, tell me in the top left-hand corner. He's not going to tell me the top left. It is. It was Tom Cleverly. There we go. 2-0 up and Cleverly now on the pitch. Vision up one with 1,500 passes. Oh, nice footwork there as well. That may be enough, actually, to take us to 83 rated. Uh, we may even get an assist here. I'm going to drill this in and Gibson's there. We have gotten an assist. It's Everton 3, West Bromwich Albion 0. We are on fire in this final part of the season. We cannot stop scoring and assisting goals. Lovely swept finish as well. Keeper came out to commit, but Gibson has seen that and just placed it over the top of him into the corner. Really good finish from the uh, from the Irishman. That is Everton 3 and the opposition nil for the second game in a row. Bristol City and West Brom both getting a hammering here today. 
Delefeu on a run down the right, a real run down the right, sprinting away. Leandro Rodriguez has come on again for Romelu Lukaku. He's going to be found here. Oh, Rodriguez, that is almost a carbon copy of the chance he missed in the game against Bristol City. Ball over the top, wonderful technique on the volley, but can't find the bottom corner. Sunshine, you are going to have to work on your fit, uh, finishing in training as Darren Fletcher comes on for Craig Gardner. It could have been 4-0 with a chance there. It could have been 4-0 against Bristol City as well, but unfortunately, Leandro Rodriguez Rodriguez needs to work on his first time volleying on the training ground. Final whistle goes, it finishes 3-0. Two very convincing victories for us here today. We're through to the FA Cup final after that 3-0 victory against Bristol City and with two goals and an assist here and a 9.8 rating, we are up to 83, I was going to say up to 8.3 rated, that would be terrible. We're 83 rated now here on my player. West Brom didn't even have a single chance. Awful performance from them. We just completely, completely outplayed them. It's one of the most one-sided episodes I think we've ever had, to be completely honest, against uh, Bristol City and West Brom. What does that do for our league form? We are now seven points inside the uh, the Champions League positions with, what, four games to go? Seven points inside the Champions League positions with 12 points left available. I was... I got excited there, seeing that Chelsea are still on 71, but they noticed that they, have a, they haven't played yet. But they do have to play Manchester City. So that could be a chance for Chelsea to drop points. Maybe the title race is opening up. Arsenal, they're still a point above us. Spurs still two points behind, so they won their games. But that is going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop this video a like if you enjoyed, of course, and subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for something you, or for anything you may have missed. Something you may have missed, anything you may have missed over the past few days whether it's this series the Chelsea series uh, or the uh, the vote for the road to glory which I will probably uh, I think actually I'm going to tweet out after I've finished recording this that uh, Forrest have won it so you can still check the video out but I think Forrest are going to win that vote so uh, you've got that to look forward to so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already that video uh, that series will start on Saturday evening. The next episode of My Player will be on uh, Saturday afternoon. And of course, we'll have a uh, actually another important vote tomorrow afternoon with regards to the Chelsea series. So make sure you check that out tomorrow afternoon as well. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitch. Uh, check out the merchandise store, noidentityclothing.bigcartel.com. Links to all of them are in the description down below. And I will see you next time.